Okay, we're now going to look at finding the LCM, which is the lowest common multiple, and the highest common factor using product of primes. And we're going to start off by looking at finding the lowest common multiple and highest common factor of 14 and 35. Uh, before you do that, it might be useful to watch the video on lowest common multiple and the video on highest common factors to remind yourself of what they are. Remember, the lowest common multiple is the first number in both of the numbers times tables, or the first multiple that is this, um, of both numbers that is the same. And the highest common factor is the largest number that will um, that divides into both of the numbers, that is a factor of both of the numbers. So, um, to find the LTM and the HCF of 14 and 35, first of all, you wanna find uh, what 14 and 35 are as product of primes. So, 14, well, 2 times 7 is 14, 2 is prime and 7 is prime, so 14 equals 2 times 7, and 35, well, 35 is 5 times 7, oh, and they're both prime as well, so 35 equals 5 times 7. So, we've written both number numbers as product of primes, 14 is 2 times 7, and 35 is 5 times 7. Now, to find what the lowest common multiple and highest common factor are by using these product of primes, it's useful to draw a Venn diagram. So a Venn diagram will look something like that. Uh, one circle represents 14, so this circle represents 14, and this circle represents 35. So this circle is 35, this circle is 14. And what we're going to do is we're going to put, the, put these prime numbers into these circles. Now, first of all, uh, in the middle are numbers that will be factors of, or that are prime numbers that are in both of these. So, uh, here you can see this one's got a 7 and this one's got a 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one 7 in the middle. Now if you look, we've now got a 7 in the 14 circle here. We've also got that 7 in the 35 circle. So we've done that 7 and that 7. Okay, so if they share one 7, you put one 7 in the middle. If they're both are two 7s, you put two 7s in the middle. Okay, now the 14 has got a 2, so it's going to put the 2 on the 14 side. You put it here because it's uh, only on the 14 side. And the 35 has got a 5, so you put a 5 over on this side here. So, to find the lowest common multiple, what you do is you multiply all these prime numbers together. Okay, so you look at your diagram and you multiply all the numbers in your diagram together. So the lowest common multiple would be 2 times 7 times 5. 2 times 7 times 5. So 2 times 7 is 14, and 14 times 5, well you can use a grid method for that, um, and it is 70. So, the lowest common multiple of 14 and 35 is 70. The highest common factor, what you do is you multiply the numbers in the middle together. Now this question has only got a 7 in the middle, so the highest common factor is 7. So the lowest common multiple is found by timesing all the numbers in the Venn diagram together, so 2 times 7 times 5. The highest common factor, you times the ones in the middle together, which is 7. Let's look at another example. Okay, we're now going to find the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor of 128. So, again, you want to get it as a product of primes. So let's start off with 100. Uh, 100 is 2 times 50. 2 is prime, circle it, 50 is not. 50 is uh, 5 times 10. 5 is prime, circle it, 10 is not. 10 is 2 times 5, and they're both prime. So we've now finished. So 100 equals... 2 times 5 times 2 times 5, let's put it in numerical order, 2 times 2 times 5 times 5, 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. And we could write that in index form, but whenever I'm doing these types of questions, I tend to just leave it as the list like that. 28, well 28 is 2 times 14, 2 is prime, circle it, 14 isn't, 14 is 2 times 7, they're both prime. So 28 equals 2 times 2 times 7. So we've got both numbers as a product of primes. We're now going to draw the Venn diagrams and put those numbers in there. Okay, uh, so we've got our product of primes. We've got 100 is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5, and 28 is 2 times 2 times 7. So we're now going to put these into the Venn diagram. So we've drawn one circle for 100, and one circle for 28. And I'm going to use the word circle loosely here because they're not very good circles at all. Try to draw yours a bit more tidily than I've drawn mine. Okay, let's see what they share. 
Well, this one's got two, this, the 100's got two twos, and 28 has got two twos. So you put two twos in the middle, okay? So if they share two twos, you put two twos in the middle. Let's just check, the 100 circle has got two twos in it, and the 28 circle has got two twos in it. And they don't share anything else. 100 has got five times five, so you put two fives in the 100 side. So we've done those. And the 28 has got a seven, so you put a seven in the 28 side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work out the LCM and the HCF. So the lowest common multiple is found by multiplying them all together. So we're going to do 5 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 7. And the highest common factor is found by multiplying the ones in the middle together. So we're going to do 2 times 2 for that one. Let's work out the lowest common multiple first of all. So we're multiplying them all together. 5 times 5 is 25 times 2 is 50 times 2 is 100, times 7 is 700. The highest common factor is found by multiplying the ones in the middle together, so 2 times 2, which is 4. So the lowest common multiple, the first number that um, appears in the 100 times tables and the 28 times tables would be 700. And the highest common factor, the largest number that divides into both 128, is 4.